Man, seeing all of these upgraded special equipment is an absolutely heavenly sight. What is up, people? It is me, Monster58, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter World. In the previous part, we ended up taking down the quest known as, I believe it's... What was it? Let me, let me look for it. Uh, optional. It was... Uh... The storm brings the unexpected, taking down Tempered Kushala Daura, as well as Tempered Val Hazak, a Black Veil Val Hazak, allowing us to upgrade the Affinity Booster, the last of the equipment that uh, needed to be upgraded that can actually now have slots. And in this part, we are going to be talking to the excitable A-lister. Now, to get this started, you're going to talk to him first. He'll have some uh, text, which I apologize for not doing, because I was curious about what he had to say one night, and I just ended up doing it and then realizing, hey, stupid, um, you should have saved that for the the episode. But what are you going to do? Basically, he'll you'll end up also talking to the third fleet master, and she'll essentially say that Latrion has returned. What you're going to have to do is this quest called Dawn's Triumph. Now, this really is not hard at all. It's much easier than Blazing Black Twilight. I believe according to the Fextra Life Wiki, when it comes to uh, this version of Alatrion, this version of Alatrion has like the same amount of health as a great, as a uh, Master Rank Great Jagras. So you're not going to be too worried about killing this thing. This thing will take like, it took me like five or six minutes to beat this. And then she'll have some extra audio talking about um, Alatrion, which again, I apologize for missing. But once you're completed with that then we can move on but before we move on i'd like to show that i do have an armor set dedicated to today's episode which is obviously the finale and so we're gonna bring this out here as you can see i do have the vespoid um armor because uh, like the layered armor because it looks sick i think it looks really really cool and we have the elatrion great sword as well got the brachydium helm escadora soul now the build i'm using i'm going to leave a link in the description to the youtube video that i was uh referencing for this now <clears throat> like i said i want you guys to subvert your expectations for today's video i hope you guys aren't going to be too disappointed with me or anything like that but i hope you've enjoyed the series thus far and i hope you understand where i'm coming from you end up finding out at the end or towards uh the you know towards the parts of the episode that i'm going to be doing this but focus charm latrion revolution brachydium helm beta we got three of the um Alatrion with escadora soul arm guards and might and then the cool terrace wrath uh so yeah I take a look at my armor skills here. Critical Eye, Attack Boost, Part Breaker, Health Boost. Fire Resistance is really, really good here. Weakness Exploit, having focus, because obviously we're running Greatsword here. Uh, critical Boost, Divine Blessing is also really, really nice. Recovery Up, can't complain all too much. You have some of these, like the Divine Blessing and the Recovery Up are mainly there on the Temporal as well as the Rock Steady. So we're definitely bringing all this. And so without further ado, folks, um, we also have a new item set, which is this one. I'm bringing... Um, extra uh, to be able to make max potions on the fly um, with Mandragora and stuff like that. Uh, I think of what I'm actually going to do. I might swap something out. So to make, I believe to make nutrients, you just need bitter bugs and blue mushrooms. And I might end up swapping these out because we're not going to need null berries. So I think we'll just bring this and then we'll bring blue mushrooms. Yeah. I think we'll do that and then we will re-register this here because <clears throat> i don't think we'll end up needing um we just need those for crafting and then what i'm also going to do is for the crafting list we are going to bump the nutrients um up here as well as the mega nutrients up as well just so we can get those going Make sure that we have those uh, able to be made very quickly uh, so that they're right here on the top. I'm um, going to see if I can... You know, we're going to... Hmm. I'm going to do this. 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 I'm going to have auto crafting on for all of these. Just so much easier for us. But without further ado, let us talk to the excitable A-lister and see what he has to say. Gargwas some work, dude. The field team leader's waiting. Let's check in. Good work taking care of Alatreon. I knew I could count on everyone. I've never experienced such power before. I hate to think what had happened if something like that showed up in the old world. Chief, I think we should warn the Guild about the growing number of incidents when we send off our next report. The Guild collects intel on monster behavior in each region, but they also gather disaster reports. We can send them what we have so they can prepare for a worst case scenario. You've got a point. Make the necessary preparations. Understood. Oh, before I forget. 
Seems like the commander has returned to Astera. Really? He's back already? Hey, I got an idea. How about when you report in on the Alatreon investigation, you pester him until he spills the beans on why the guild summoned him? Good idea, huh? <laughs> Do we really need to get in his business? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you the papers. Speak to the commander when you're ready. Alrighty, now before we head in, I'm actually just going to save very quickly, because I'd like us to, to save here. Just get that going. Now, I am not nearly as geared out as I'd like to be. I'm going to be the first to admit here, and you guys will definitely know that too. But this is the best we got with what we got going, and I, unfortunately, I'm going to tell you this right now. I do very much need to finish off the series at this point. So, uh, you guys will understand as we get into it. So, let's talk to the commander and see why he got summoned. Greetings, Hunter. I just looked over the report on the Alatreon investigation. We'll be sending this off to the guild immediately. As always, splendid work. Hmm. I see. I suppose it does make sense that the guild summoning me would cause gossip to spread. This is probably as good a time as any to let you know what's happening. The truth is, a large-scale joint operation between various countries and organizations has been in the works for some time. The Research Commission has been requested to join the operation. They believe our expertise with unidentified life and ecologies, and our outstanding record in the field, will be an asset. Let's prove them right. Now then, we have a guest here in Astera that will detail the operation. Representatives from each unit will be in attendance. Of course, we'll need you there, too. Come. Is everyone here? Good. Then let us begin council. As I told everyone, an international joint operation is currently in the works. The Research Commission has been requested to join the operation. Our guest will provide us with the details. Thank you, Commander. I'm in charge of this joint operation, and I hope to get to know each of you soon. Hmm? You? You're with the Commission. General, it's an honor to see you again. <laughs> Never expected to see a familiar face in the new world. <clears throat> My apologies. We'll have to make some time to talk later. Now, let's get down to the heart of the matter. Several rare phenomena have occurred in various parts of the world, and we've also received reports from our special disaster unit. Small intermittent quakes, forest fires breaking out so frequently that there is enough smoke to blot out the sun. Endemic life and monsters alike are disappearing, and even the Elder Dragons are becoming more scarce. No one has any theories. However, we located in our records one past occasion when all these current events did happen. Just one. Let me ask, have any of you heard of Shrade before? Yes! The glorious country of Shrade! I remember reading it was a powerful nation that suddenly disappeared ages ago. No one knows what happened to it. And the region of Shrade is off-limits to everyone, from what I've heard. You're well-read, I see. Then you must know of the legends they speak of Shrade. Yes, the story of Shrade's demise. An incredible monster burned the country down to the ground in a single night. But why are you bringing this up now? Records of Shrade are scant, but they do exist in various forms, such as diplomatic documents or personal diaries around the time when Shrade was destroyed. We discovered several passages from one article. Earthquakes, forests burning, birds and monsters gone, no sun, elder dragons disappearing. Then several months later, Shrade disappeared. <laughs> no way, that, that can't be right. I understand that catastrophic elder dragons have appeared in the new world. It was no coincidence. This is inevitable. Everything is happening again. And it heralds the return of the one that obliterated Shrade. The Black Dragon Fatalis. A nightmare that lives only in legend. The Guild and every country have declared that Fatalis will appear in Castle Shrade again, and have called for its extermination. Our assignment will be to prepare for its eventual appearance and slay the beast. When is it expected to show up in Castle Shrade? 
We cannot say for certain. But if we take the records we found at face value, we have a few months before it shows up. Do we know its current location? No. We have no information on that. Nothing to tell us where it's coming from, or where it's going. Information is so scarce that it's more accurate to call this the Fatalis event. Is it even possible to take it down? If we don't, everything will perish. What we can do now is alert every participating nation and prepare ourselves. The Research Commission will need to mobilize quickly. The General and I will depart first, ahead of our main force. We'll do our best to get a grasp of the situation. We'd like to request that you hunters accompany us. Yes, sir! Later, we'll gather the entire Commission and explain what's going on. For now, we want you to get yourselves ready. I shall guide us to Castle Strait. This will be a long struggle, but I know we'll make it through this. All right. That brings Council to an end. Dismissed. Alrighty, folks. With that all out of the way, it is time to accept the quest of the Black Dragon Fatalis. This is one of the reasons that me as well as many other players uh next to alatrion ended up dropping this game a couple years ago and just to give you guys an idea of what we're going to be doing today um i'll just say it outright we're not going to be slaying the beast um and i'll explain that as we get into it but you're only ever required to get to the first phase of this guy to trigger a cutscene so that you're able to actually join other people who are doing fatalis i believe that's that's how this works and so just wanted to set expectations right there and and now um as i've mentioned i i think i mentioned this previous i've never ever actually beaten this quest before and so I'll explain as we, when we finish the phase and everything like that, show off Fatalis and everything like that, I'll explain my thought process and everything for the finale of this. Um, I just really hope you guys aren't too disappointed with my decision. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Um, go to special assignments, accept the Black Dragon. We're all geared up, ready to roll, got the items that we need. Um, I'm gonna head up to the canteen for our last one of our last meals ever for this series it's been a long road crazy how many episodes this let's play has been but i'm really proud of what i was able i've been able to achieve so <coughs> i'm gonna eat it here thank you once again to the meowster chef uh the, the meowskular chef excuse me Got the Safi Jiva stuff on um, Mr. Mew here. Got the sleep weapon still on him. And so without further ado, folks, time to head out on our final main quest in the series. Especially like this. Ah, so nervous? Leave you me, I get it. <laughs> but my new friend and I will give you all the support you could ask for. Nothing's gonna happen to you while I'm around. <laughs> ah! what the? Okay, we know you're awesome. But I wanna know what he thinks. Ah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hunters, your attention. This is the layout of Castle Strayed. Weapons from its last stand are still on site. The cannons are here. Here, the ballistae. 
Hopefully we can find workable binders to use. You can see railing here. That means there may be a roaming ballista. And finally, a Dragonator. It'll be our ace in the hole. The mechanism is dated, so we'll need to manually fire the weapon. Finally, we have a barricade here. That barricade will need to be triggered manually as well. This is where the lever is. We'll need it in case of emergency. That's all. Carve this information into your brain. Yes, sir. Fatalis? Castle Shrade? This still feels like a dream. I know it's cliche, but it's like we're in one of those bedtime stories our parents told us. <laughs> I know what you mean. The legend of Fatalis has been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Many believed that the story of Fatalis and Castle Shrade was just a fable created after the fact. I never thought those legends would turn out to be true. The word Fatalis was never meant as a moniker for an actual beast. No, it was a word to describe an existence of some kind. But over time, it seems to become known as the name of the monster. So what we're up against isn't a monster. It's actually history. Hmm. We're arriving soon. Steal yourselves. <laughs> and the present meet up right at this point. However, that wasn't in the blueprints. It's blocking the Dragonator. We can't reach the ballista or barricade either. Was it just slapped together? They fought back Fatalis and then propped it up? I see. So that means in the end, they didn't have time to use their Dragonator. They realized all was lost and abandoned the offensive. No. most likely used it. They knew the stakes. They battled hard. Defended their home. But were ultimately outmatched. They fought until the bitter end. If they just gave up, absolutely nothing would have remained once Fatalis was finished. It was not my place to judge them. So then, what should we do? With that in the way, we can't use the Dragonator. Let's tear it down. Hm. Bring people in now. Our forces? I heard they're arriving shortly, sir. Good. They're quick. Once we rendezvous with them, we should have enough manpower. Don't forget about us. Since we brought the wing drakes, we decided to establish a camp up there. We'll need to update the maps, too. <sighs> What's wrong?
Commander, our main force is arriving soon, right? Correct. Your odds? In my favor, as always. We'll buy everyone some time to escape. No! This is madness! Retreat now! We can't have any missteps. Go get it done, then. Yes, sir. To the camp! Hurry! Underestimating those two hunters was your biggest misstep. Believe me, I know all too well. General. Everyone, welcome to the final monster that was ever added into Monster Hunter World and Monster Hunter World Iceborne, the legendary Black Elder Dragon known as Fatalis. Fatalis is no easy feat, and I'm going to tell you this straight up. There's not going to be much to this voiceover because I've never beaten Fatalis, but I can tell you some things here. It's weak to dragon, uh, neutral to fire, resists water, thunder, as well as ice. The head the chest are the weak points as well as breakable in addition the wings are also breakable but funnily, funnily enough despite how long the tail is uh it is actually unseverable now there is one tip i can give you with this guy well a couple i can actually talk about is that this guy does a lot of damage this guy does an incredibly large amount of damage and in addition to that, you actually can uh, flint shot and wall bang this guy. And when you're going to want to do that, so Fatalis essentially has sort of like two stances. It kind of sits on its hind legs like a dog would or a cat would, right? It can sit on its hind legs uh, where its head is upwards. Essentially, it's, you know, it's, it's tall. However, there's another version of this thing where it also sits on its all fours like a dog or a cat as well. You're going to want to wall bang this thing when it's sitting on all fours. And the reason being is because you won't get the full amount of damage off if you wall bang it when it's standing upwards. So definitely take advantage of wall banging it when it is just lower. So if you want to actually build for this guy, fire resistance is going to be a thing having a relatively high defense. I'm going with whatever weapon you feel comfortable with. I mean... Again, I'm just not exactly sure the other tips for this guy, and so because I've never actually beaten this guy, what we're going to do is I'm going to leave links in the description to guides and YouTubers that I feel are reputable when it comes to Fatalis, uh, so you guys can take a look at those general guides and see how this fight works. To my understanding, this fight is three phases, uh, maybe four, three or four phases, um, so get ready for it. And just to give you an idea again of how strong this guy is, he's by far the strongest monster in the game. Um, Alatrion solo has about 50 or so thousand health. This guy has around 60 some thousand or so. So, you know, around uh, closer to 70,000 than it is closer to 60,000. 60, so get ready for that. But overall, what a way to end off, you know, Monster Hunter World with the legendary Black Dragon, Fatalis. And man, its name even strikes fear into the hearts of many. So, everybody, Godspeed. Alrighty, folks, welcome to Fatalis. This is the final monster ever added to Monster Hunter World. This guy's an absolute beast. Do not underestimate him. Oh. Yep, 
And this is where you can actually, I, I think I might try and wall bang this guy. And boom. Boom. Nice. Very nice there. That's pissed. Very good, very good. Right, remember, there's multiple phases to this, and we only ever need to get to the first one here. So that's what we're going to do today. Jesus Christ, I still don't know what this thing does, I'll be honest with you guys. There's a few attacks I can give you guys pointers on. Ooh, that was close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. That I know much. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That really sucks. Yep. Luckily, the A-listers here to give you some support. I can't. I can't. Oh, boy. This is not good. I need to... Oh, wait. Why didn't it... Oh, that's not good. I have max potions and everything, but it didn't bind to my frickin'... Okay. I'm just gonna hit this thing. Nice. Hit it in the head there. Very close. Yep, gotta be careful there. Yep, 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 yep. Be very careful. Okay. Yep, roll or not. I don't know where the max potions are. There they are. Yep, just be careful. I am playing this awfully already. Very nice damage. Yep, yep, yep. Where is it? I forget where it is. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm gonna craft a couple of these. Yep, 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 yep. So he's got that. I forgot that he deals with that, not us. Yep, I completely whiffed it, but we're good. Yeah! 1100 damage, let's go, dude. Got a lot of damage off on him. Yep, 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 yep. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, careful, careful, careful. And uh, remove the rock city because it's not useful anymore. One, two, three. Oh, goodness me. That was many damage. And that one. Well, that was lovely. I got wrecked. Okay. We're okay, we're okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah. Well, yeah, I got wrecked. Jeez. <sighs> Ow. And you just need to get this guy to, like, phase one, too. Ugh. But, yeah, for a final monster to fight, this is pretty banger, right? If I had to say so myself. It's a pretty banger fight for being the last monster that we're ever going to touch in this game. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to... I'm actually going to buff up here as well because I'd rather be safe than sorry. At least give myself some extra defense. This is why I hate the start of this fight. Do this. <coughs> hey, headset, shut up. My headset's like, auto, shut down, initiate it, auto. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep at it here. Got four, got four continues still, so I'll just keep at it for the time being. Alright, once this thing gets on its all fours, I'm going to slam this thing into a wall. Okay, nice. All right, we're back at it. Back at it again, folks. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, my God, dude. I didn't even get a chance to put the mantle on. There, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. Luckily, there's a lot of places to slam this guy into a wall. There we go. Oh, piss. 
Uh, give me that. Oh, come on. I didn't even get a chance to eat it. Uh-oh, not good. Oh, well, luckily that... Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, well that's lovely. It's gonna be fun. Oh my, okay, well. You gotta be careful, he's gonna shoot. Yep, that, that, that can... Oh my, yep, I'm gonna do that. Oh my god, man. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go crafting list, please. Oh, my God, man. That attack is one of the... Mm, that attack sucks, dude. <laughs> oh, well. You got to go in. I just threw on the rock city, so we better head in. You know, you know, still like that. I don't know why it will not register. I hate... The fact that I'm inting that away. And it's not... It's not pissed yet, so I can... Dude. I just got in. Oh, not good, not good. That is not what I meant to do. Yeah, I inted that. That's my bad. Yep, we're gonna go actually for the head. I screwed that up, I screwed that up. I'm gonna go grab some stone. I'm gonna do this to be safe. There we go. Nice. Now it's gonna be mad. Uh, uh, oh my god, come on. That blows. Oh my god, again! Alright, we're gonna do one of these. No, shut up, headset. Sh shut up, shut up. Stupid headset, stupid headset. Oh, here we go! We got to phase one! We have one down. The wall's been destroyed. What about the Dragonator? I'll confirm now. We'll signal when ready. It's the Commission. They're finally here. Hmm. Those two hunters managed to buy us enough time. Now we have a glimmer of hope. We can't let it die. No time to waste. Hurry! Yes, yes sir. Uh, damn. Uh, looks like 
I'll never be like him. Hey, guys! <laughs> Two things. First, the roaming ballista in the barricade can now be used. The Dragonator's being prepped. When the time comes, make use of them. Second, the main group is here. We can now call for help. <laughs> Go, I'll take care of him. This thing is a reality partner. That just means, I know you can kill it. Alrighty, folks. With that, we're going to return. So, as we go back, let's take a look at some of the... Let's take a look at the armor and the weapons that you can make out of Fatalis, because it does have, you know, some of the best gear in the entire game. So, you just need to get to that point, and I'll go into my explanation here in a bit. So, let's head to the canteen, or excuse me, to the uh, workshop... And I'll show you guys some of the gear that you can make. Because we did get some of its materials. So it should allow us to... Uh, no, why am I at the canteen? Um, should allow us to actually go and take a look at the gear for it. So, And plus it'd be better if you left the quest there. Because starting it off... If when you re-enter it, it's, I think there's a better way to attempt the quest period. Uh, that's using the cannons too. So taking a look, let's look at the armor. Because it's, it's, again, some of the coolest stuff in the game. Is it not going to give it to me? Guess it's not going to give it to me today. Even though I absolutely thought it would at least give me the ability to show it off. Uh, I guess it doesn't. So, here's what it looks like on screen. It looks really cool. The eye is really, really neat. And I'll show... I'll flash some pictures of some of the weapons. Um... For it, so you guys can take a look at it, because uh, I'll show the hammer is really cool, the longsword's pretty damn cool as well. I'll show a few others, but you guys can see that on screen right now. Um, those images are from the Fex Your Life Wiki, so please go check that out, as I've linked always in the description below. But, to give you guys a full explanation, um, let us head over to my room, actually. Let's head to the room. And so, guys, here in my room, I'd like to talk about why it is we are sort of ending the let's play on a less than great note right um even though at least for the time being this is that i'd like to emphasize um when it comes to this let's play as a whole um i, I stated this uh, uh no i haven't said this at all but i'd like to state that this let's play was meant to be my last hurrah for Monster Hunter World. The reason I released this, uh, in addition as the, the other main reason being my love and passion for this game, is also due to the fact that World and Rise are very popular right now with the release of Wilds coming early next year. And I initially thought that World Wilds was going to be released towards the middle or the end of next year, but no, they decided that it's going to be released at the uh, first quarter of 2025. And that sort of leads me into talking about this let's play as a whole basically this game in comparison to my last let's plays is much of a bigger undertaking it's been long it's it's more than twice as long as the need for speed let's play and uh like almost as eight seven or eight times as long as the uh, transformers or four times as long as the transformers one and those were very easy to edit and record um nothing too crazy with those this on the other hand has been much of a bigger undertaking when it comes to that and so it's taken a lot of my personal time and that also works into that also digs into my personal life uh where there's also a lot going on and so the main reason that i am not going to personally beat fatalis right now in the let's play uh like i said this will be the finale for the time being is because i don't want to get burnt out because this was my last hurrah for monster hunter world um i knew when i got to the latch round in fatalis this is where i'd have to sort of maybe end it in a way you know end it on a and end it in a weird note and that's because 
uh, because this was my last hurrah, um, I want to beat Fatalis on my own time. And what I'll be doing uh, probably over the next few months is I'll probably end up, you know, attempting Fatalis a ton of times, you know. Um, you know, and I'll be recording those attempts. And maybe in the future, and the same thing with the Latrion, I'll end up actually putting up a bonus video or some extra video for this Let's Play that will end the let's play off on a good note whether that will happen or not you know is yet to be seen but i will be attempting fatalis i will be attempting a latrion over these coming months but not uh within like the next episode type thing and plus for me when it comes to fighting a monster especially like fatalis um and even a latrion it's a monster i've had to sit down for hours and hours and hours and hours and even though i've found the time to grind for this game at the same time i don't want to sit there for six or seven hours a piece you know a day or something like that even maybe even like four or five just trying to attempt this over and over and over again only to get frustrated or anything like that and eventually get burnt out on it i'd rather space my attempts out over a time that i feel is comfortable for me um and won't burn me out in terms of monster hunter period so that by the time wilds comes out i'm rested recharged and ready to sink another thousand or so hours or plus into another monster hunter game because i'm so excited for wilds because it feels like a true sequel to world and so at the end of the day i really hope you do you guys do understand where i'm coming from i just don't want to like because basically how this episode if i were to actually beat fatalis this episode wouldn't have been released for like maybe another week, two, three weeks or something like that because I wouldn't want to burn myself out and plus it would take me a long time to attempt Fatalis, period. And I just don't want to sit here and get frustrated and angry and stuff like that. I'd rather attempt it on my own time and post another interior extra video to this let's play uh maybe at some point in the future that will complete this let's play in its entirety but for the time being i'd like to move on to the next game uh, there's also some just casual games i'd like to play with my friends on my own time that uh recently like today is uh, the release of sparking zero uh, for the early access and i'm really i've been super excited for that game and i really do want to play it um but i hope you guys the, at least the day i'm recording this so i hope you guys again please understand where i'm coming from and i will end it by saying this i just want to thank you all for the amazing support you've given this Let's Play. For those of you who have commented, for those of you who have liked, for those of you who have clicked on these videos and watched them, I just want to give you guys a massive thank you. Um, and I also want to give a massive thank you to the YouTuber known as RuneBear. RuneBear, man, the fact that you even bothered to shout me out you're, you're amazing, man, and I really do appreciate the fact that you're twice as big as of a creator as me, and the fact that you shouted me out um, is amazing. So link to his channel in the description, and also links in the description, like I said earlier, in the voiceover to guides on Fatalis on how to beat it and do it. Find people who actually are able to do this and do it well. Um, and these people will give you a much better guide than I could ever and a much better demonstration on how to beat Fatalis than I could ever. But like I said, for the, for the time being, this is where the Let's Play uh, will really end. And um, I, the perfect way for me to end this off, let's end this off by heading off into a fight with sort of the baseline of this game, guys. Let's end it off by getting into a fight with the master rank or well just you know in general just a a good rank anjanath and i think we'll talk about what i think i did well with this let's play what i think i didn't do well with this let's play improvements i can make on myself and yeah let's <laughs> all righty folks so you know when it comes to this let's play um things i think i didn't do the best and I, the thing I think I could have done better is there's some of the editing things I think I could have done better. I think I could have been more consistent. There was, like, things with the monster voiceovers where um, I didn't realize in Premiere you can do a few things to make things look more consistent and be in the exact same places at the same time. And so for me, I didn't end up screwing up on that. I also think that for this Let's Play, I could have had some better commentary. Could have had some better commentary. Um... You guys will find this out if you ever if you ever decide to create a video of any kind. Uh, that when it comes to creating videos, um, it's not easy. And when you click the record button, a lot of the time you end up getting into these moments where like you think you know what to talk about and you don't. And for me, the it's sometimes hard for me to find things to talk about that are not the game unless I have personal experiences. Uh, 
uh, tied on to them, right? And so I think I could have also been better with that. Um, there are also moments where I think there may be episodes that could have cut down more. I could have been more like you guys didn't have to sit there and watch hour-long episodes and stuff like that. They're just like really long episodes. I think I could have cut down on that and stuff like that. So I really do think that, that those those things could have absolutely been done better. But unfortunately, we ended up doing it. Is, is this guy pissed? He's not pissed yet. So uh, he's not going to. Is he going to run into the wall? You should okay um so those things i think i could have done better um i also think there's some research i could have done better uh i think that could have been a better thing to do here as well uh in terms of good things though um i think i definitely stepped up my editing game as i mentioned to you guys um when it comes to editing uh i finally added like a little bit of an intro to my videos in terms of like uh like a little animation i think i i was able to do that pretty well in addition to that um i was also able to do really good stuff on those monster voiceovers i think uh, i hope you guys really enjoyed those god that sucked um completely just clipped his head uh, but I hope you guys really enjoyed those because I certainly enjoyed making them um, because I just wanted like uh, And this that that leads me into the other thing. I think I did very well with this. Let's play Because I think I was able to I really wanted this let's play as I stated at the beginning of it to be a let's play where someone who never played this game before could follow along with me and enjoy playing along with me as well. And I think I was able to achieve that really well and I'd like to hear your guys feedback on that for those of you who watched maybe a few episodes of the series or a lot of the series as a whole. I would love to hear that because I just wanted it to be fun. You know, I, I, I'm not good at this game. I never said I was good at this game. Um, never claimed to be. I am above average at best, you know, something like that. Let's uh, roll here. Uh, above average at best. And so I just love this game for how it feels alive. And that's why I'm so excited for Wilds because it really feels like that true sequel that, uh, to me, Rise can never achieve. Um, another good thing I think I did with this Let's Play is I think I was able to um, give you, like, I, it leads into the helping you guys, like, if you're a first-time player to play along with it. Um, but I, I really do think I was able to do those monster voiceovers where it just gives you an idea of what you're about to fight, you know? And I, it gives me, like, a way to talk about what I think about these monsters and everything like that. And then that was really, really fun. Um, in addition to that, um, the last thing I'll say, uh, that I think I did well with this Let's Play, um, one second here. Alright, yeah, he's roaring. Okay. Uh, the last thing, uh, I want to say I also think I did pretty well with this Let's Play all around is just being able to understand more the depths of content creation. Um... It's definitely helped me learn a lot. I learned a lot. I became a better editor over the course of this, became a better Monster Hunter player um, because I was just wanting to showcase things and I wanted to do things at least to the to uh, to my abilities, right, to the best of my abilities um, with, you know, you know, my limits and everything along those lines. And so I think I was really able to do that very well, you know, and I can even talk about, too, uh, this is away from the discussion of the good and bad I did with this Let's Play, but uh, why I enjoyed uh, enjoyed this game so much, I just think it just feels alive, and I think a lot of people also felt that. This game just feels alive in general. It just has this, like, everything has a food chain. Everything feels like it, it, it means something, right? And that's really sick. One, two, three. Nice. Uh, everything feels alive here, right? Everything, like, it just, like, everything interacts with one another. It just, it, there's just so much in this game that is so good. And regardless of the story maybe not being super in-depth or anything with any crazy characters and plot twists, what it does well, it does incredibly well. And I have nothing but respect for, for doing it like this. And I really do hope that Wilds gives me that same feeling, and I'm sure it will, given what they've shown off about it so far. Like, for example, like Anjanath here, I just love also how they are able to take, like, a realism while giving it a twist, right? You have this moment where Anjanath is clearly a T-Rex, but they decided to add wings to it. They decided to have it breathe fire, and they have reasons for doing that. You know, the wings are used to cool its body. Um, it, it ignites fire by secreting mucus, right? 
and that's why it has the secretions from its mouth, right? For the uh, the mucus as a whole, so that's really cool. And you know, those little details that they decide to point out in a game like this are just incredible, and they just add so much. It's when you're at the highest level of any game, it's really those little details that uh, set you apart. And I think this game does that incredibly well. And let's go grab some more slinger here. Bring this guy into the wall. Uh, so yeah, at the end of the day. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I definitely enjoyed making it, but I th also think that it's time for me to move on from this let from this let's play in this game in terms of playing it because uh, I might have put this on screen already too. But this game is even though despite my love for this game, has also started to feel kind of like a chore. Um, and it's not that I dislike the game. It's just that there's times when I was like, man, I really actually have to just push and grind today, even though I don't really want to necessarily grind all today, you know? I had to grind there for, you know, a couple hours or something like that, two, three hours just to get some things ready for the next episode. Um, and it was tough, you know? I did a lot of fights of Safi Jiva off screen that you guys did never see, you know? I, d I did maybe four or five plus extra fights you guys never saw. Nice, nice mount. Um... <clears throat> there was a lot of external stuff you had to do with this let's play and you know with the other let's plays i didn't have that and have to do stuff like that so uh again just try not to burn myself out on this game uh just keep killing this guy here this guy should be relatively i mean he's hurting oh wow he actually okay he just well he hurt himself so there's nothing i can do there so oh my god the stupid jagras i do like how this guy is the baseline though one, two, three. Oh, of course I missed. <laughs> One, two, three. Nice damage. Bam. Bam, or I missed. That. Oh my god, I completely whiffed it. Ah! Wouldn't be a final video without me getting absolutely mangled like that. One, two, three. Oh my god. Completely whiffed. Here. Nice. Oh, nice. Is there already limping? Nice. Okay, there. We're just gonna capture this guy to end off this series. And bam! I'm gonna actually flash pod this guy once he's done. Actually, you know how to do that right now. Boom, and boom. And so, guys, man, I'll meet you guys back at base to end off the series. And so, guys, that is where we end Monster Hunter World. Again, this has been a huge undertaking. It's the biggest series I've ever done to date. It's the best edited I've ever done to date. Um, it's the most in-depth I've ever gone to date. And I hope this does set the standard for my next, you know, series and, you know, my whatever series I decide to do. You know, when it comes to this, um, just like I said before, thank you guys so much for the support. You know, it's been absolutely incredible. The fact that, you know, I don't care if I break 100 views. The fact that I even break 50 and that there's people that are there, like, consistently watching. Like, for those of you who have been consistently watching... Uh, like the fact that you even do that man you guys are awesome and that's freaking amazing the fact that I even get the support period and I really do appreciate that and so before we leave I'd like to talk about you know what the schedule is going forward um figure reviews will be released as much as I can do them as much as I'm getting figures in the mail and in addition to that um in terms of the next series it just depends um i've got a trip i think that's coming up about it's a, exactly almost a month from the day that i'm recording this and that's me going back to sema um because like i said personal life stuff and that is one thing that uh 
as part of my personal life. Uh, and I'm not going to say anything further because that does not warrant an explanation more than that. Um, but let's just say that that trip, I don't know if I'll be able to release episodes before that, like a week or so before that, because I don't want to release an episode, like episodes like a week. Um, and then all of a sudden I, you know, I go on my trip and I can't release any episodes or record anything or edit anything. So I didn't want to get to that point either. So it might release right the week after SEMA, um, uh, which is going to be the week of, so after the week of, uh, the Friday of November 8th, so that'll be 9, 10, so it'll be November 11th would be probably the first episode if I don't decide to release it earlier or if I find a way to release it earlier and be able to release videos while I'm at SEMA. So just wanted to clarify all that and give you guys an, uh, an idea of where we're going. Yeah, but I'm really excited for the next game. It's definitely a much chill, much more chill game than this. Uh, this is, and it's definitely a sh much shorter game, but it's a game that I'm very passionate about, game that I love, and I hope you guys who suck around for Monster Hunter World will stick around for that and just, you know, stick around my channel. I really hope you guys do. And so, that's it, guys, for Monster Hunter World. So, what I'll say is, uh, I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Also, follow me on the socials. Those will be a link in the description below. And with that, guys, I once again thank you so much for taking the time to watch my Let's Play of Monster Hunter World. I, I Again, I just cannot thank you guys enough for that support. You have no idea how much that means to me. And so with that, I will see you guys in the next series. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.
dolce, tanta de te.